Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I am David Kersley, and in today's video, I want to talk about creating a boundary surface. And when I create a boundary surface, I want to trim by directions one and two. And I have to admit, the first time that I saw this, my head went, wait, what? That was there the whole time? So I got to give a shout out to one of my coworkers, Mark Sheets, for his uh, showing me this. Again, I was blown away that this existed. So what we've got here on screen is we got this nice looking 3D sketch. Okay, a bunch of curves that we're going to use to create a, a boundary surface. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of these like this one and this one and this one and this line right here they're highlighted in blue and inside you see these four quadrants so we're going to turn that into a boundary surface but what we would normally do when we had to create that is well i would pick this line and then i would do some type of an extrude and then, then i would have to extrude a surface extrude a surface and four additional surfaces and then trim them all away but there's a faster easier way to do it Okay, and I want to make sure you see it. So if I pick on boundary surface from my command manager, there's boundary surface. Or you can go to your surfaces tab and then pick on boundary surface at the top. I'm going to pick on my boundary surface. And for my first two curves right here in direction one, now a neat little trick, I'm going to pick the far end of this line. I'm going to hit green check, okay. And I'm intentionally going to select the far end. I want to show you something, a little bonus tip and trick here. I'm going to hit the green check. And when I do, notice that the surface is twisted, almost like an hourglass. And the green connectors are opposite ended than the pink ones. Well, what you can do is just right click out in space and say flip connectors. And that will align them correctly. So a pretty neat little trip. Again, right click, flip connectors. So that looks pretty good. Now let's go over here and add our direction two. So we're going to pick on direction two. And I'm going to come over and grab this uh, curve. I'm going to grab this curve here, green check on both of them. Everything looks good. Now, in my property manager over on the left, before I hit that green check, I've got additional information here. So if I scroll down under options and preview, I've got trim by direction one, and I've also got trim by direction two. Now watch what happens when I select them on screen. They're trimming by those curves that we put in direction one and direction two. That's pretty awesome. Think of the time savings here. Hit the green check or hit the D key and you're off to the races. And that's a pretty awesome little surface there that I created kind of all in one step. If I want to edit it, I can right click, edit the feature. And what if I want to change my curve? So I can right click in this little box and say clear the selections and let's change our two direction two curves. And I'll pick my selection manager and I'll pick this curve. And then I'll go uh, green check okay I'll pick this one green check okay everything looks good I've got direction one and direction two still checked there's my new surface so now I can go thicken it or extrude it or whatever I need to do and I'm off to the races so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video visit our website goengineer.com for access to personal training, upcoming events, and technical resources. This is David Kersley. Thanks for watching. Now go engineer something amazing.